Folks, it's been a while, but drops are back. The thing is, though, there is a whole new way to get them. And since I am already seeing tons of people all done confused, I'm hopefully going to clear some stuff up before we actually showcase the drops. So bear with me here. And first things first, account linking is actually the one thing that hasn't changed. So don't get tangled up in that. I'm still going to be leaving the appropriate links to everything in the comments below for you, especially for anyone new to the drops themselves. So please give them a look. But here is the first change, folks. There will be an actual message telling us that a streamer has access to the drops instead of just us having a look beneath their channel player for the words, quote unquote, drops enabled. Yes, Twitch will notify you if a stream is eligible for drops at the top of said stream's chat. So please pay attention there too. Furthermore, when we are in progress of obtaining one of these three new drops, we can also see said progress via the drop down menu opened via our profile icon at the top right of the Twitch website. This is a nice feature in and of itself. However, it is even more noteworthy as clicking on it brings us here, the drops page. We can now see what games are actually hosting drop campaigns as well as see our total progress in the ones that we ourselves are participating within. Now, this is very important, so listen up. Within the inventory tab of the drop page, we must now claim the drops individually to start progress on the subsequent ones. We can no longer just turn on a stream and walk away and come back six hours later for all three drops at once. No, no, no. We can't do that. Gotta get them one by one. Got it? Good. As it's smitening time, everyone. No, seriously, the new drops are all part of the smitening rod set, and they are looking shockingly fishy. Watch an eligible streamer for 30 minutes, and then remember to claim the smitening rod profile icon here. To proceed, however, maybe now you can step away after your first claim, and then return in about an hour and a half in order to claim your second drop, the smitening rod portrait frame here. And oh boy, it's looking like one of the good ones too. And finally, after remembering to claim the previous two drops everyone, and maybe really stepping away for yet another four flippin' hours, you can return to your drops inventory to claim the last piece of the set, the smitening rod itself. Oof, it's easy, it's just not as straightforward as it once was folks, that's for sure. But how is it all looking, beard? Is it actually worth it nowadays? Well, I do enjoy me some purpley profile icons, so yeah, I can dick this guy, I think. I just like how I can actually tell what it is, unlike some of the others out there where everything's just kind of cramped, and that's nice. And if we choose to toss in the portrait frame itself, things only get better, I feel. But I'll tell you what, though. If anything, this drop only makes me want a better trident or a way to harness lightning in some fashion, because the electric fish Thor for the win. But how's the rod, beard? Well, fine, I thank you for- Oh, you mean the lightning rod skin? Oh sure, that's all fine and dandy too, I suppose. And it looks shorter than the others, I feel, and I don't really have that problem, and there's no really special electrical effects or anything, but hey, I think it's going to be a fun decorative item regardless, just given how it doesn't even look like a lightning rod skin for Pete's sake. It's alright. It's not my favorite, but it's certainly all right. And there you have it, everyone. Not only a showcase of the new Twitch drop skins, but also a tutorial on how they work now and possibly how they're gonna work in the near future. Now I understand the confusion surrounding it all currently, and I feel sorry for those who are having difficulties. So hopefully this clears up some things for you. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, smite them dead, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.